So Echo 6, Charlie, what are they trying to do right now? Um, so I have this formula to figure out how much helium lifts how much weight. And the answer for the weight of our cache is it needs to be a seven foot diameter balloon. Uh, and the easiest way to measure that is I know what the circumference of the balloon was. So that string is just over 21 feet long. So when it, it's tight on the balloon, we know that it's seven feet in diameter. And we'll have enough lift for the cache. Now are we using hydrogen or helium? Helium. Um, that's a lot of people who do balloon projects, that's always their first question. And it came down to as simple as um, the video of the Hindenburg disaster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hydrogen explodes, helium's really safe. So uh, Excellent. don't let a match around it. Yeah. Now when did you actually come up? I mean, I know I've seen the, uh, the one with Sputnik a couple of years ago, and that was awesome. And that's why I really got excited seeing this one. What made you decide to do it again? Um, th that I could do it better. Sure. Oh, okay. Excellent. So uh, what do you want to achieve with that? Uh, to be honest, uh, I like the idea of that uh, involving other people in it so that they have their own trackables in it. But we have a, a much better camera uh, in it this time. Um, and I'm a real kind of simple person. If it goes, launches, gets popped by a bird and lands right over there, well, I won't be really happy with it, but I'm okay with that. But if it goes... Like 200 miles, that's awesome. Um, <laughs> At least we can find it, that's right. Because this is going to be an adventure. Yeah. Um, obviously the way it works is there's a tracker receiver in there that's going to give me the coordinates every few minutes. And what I'll do is on the uh, clipboard that was over there with the balloons, if you put your phone number on it, I will text you the coordinates uh, as we get them. I'm not going to send out the first one until at least 4.30. Uh, that's so we have time to eat some of North Carolina's best barbecue at the Pick and Pig because they have been so awesome and helpful with this uh, project. They handled our FAA issues. They're letting us use their airport. They're awesome, and the barbecue is great. Uh, the other thing, so uh, the, other, the last thing I'd like to do before we launch this um, is we have two of the groups that donated a lot of money uh, to this. Um, Geneseo 09 and Zenyatta, if you guys come out here, and the entire Hadako, Hadaku, Hadaku.
seem a little weird when you were sitting over there. I mean, it wasn't too far. Do you think the battery would last coming down? Sorry, this is right side up. So everybody smile. <laughs> Where are your kids at? Oh, man. Oh, no. You guys okay? Okay. You're right here. It's only 10 feet. We are with the people who originated, contributed, and found geocache in space. Congratulations, guys. I have already talked about my legs. It is not a pretty sight. I'm sure I see some matter, other battered and scratches. They say in geocaching, you got to earn your stripes. Boy, did we do that today. What an adventure. Scott. Yes. Tell us what you're feeling. How about all this? Even going through a major thunderstorm with hail and tree limbs down, we found the cache. Holy cow. Yeah, um, it actually went off a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Um, it didn't go as far as I thought it would go this time, but it still made a good distance and I'm just glad it didn't land on anybody's house or on their head or on 95. <laughs> yeah, or the car too. What did it actually land in? Um, there's a tree and then a ton of thorns. Yeah, we know the thorns. Believe me, we know the thorns. I heard a lot of kutsu too. Yeah. It's the plant that ate the south and obviously it covers everything. Holy cow. What would you like to say to everybody who uh, helped and contributed and just participated for today? Oh, well, first off, thanking the people right here. Um, they're literally financially, I could not have done this without you guys' help. Uh, you, you, this project would have been something that's just for the dreams if, if it hadn't been for you guys. So I really do appreciate it. Um, but what I, the message I'd like to get out to other people, if you see a cool idea, write it down, start up a cache page, and then figure out how you can actually make it into a geocache. Get cool geocaches out there. No more micros, no more lampposts. Do something cool. Absolutely. Well, thank you all to everybody. Who's our first to find? Right here. All right. And you are? Right here. D-Force. Just like to thank all the sponsors for making it happen and Scott's Vision, E6 Charlie. That was great. Yeah. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much for participating. Thanks for being on the show. Oh, and right. we, we would like to say that we actually thought we had a fighting chance to find it first until he showed up. <laughs> he flies from Arizona, yeah, Nevada, Arizona and gets first to find. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> Way to go, guys. Congratulations again.